are driving up the Apple Hill Trail. James Fisher, White Memorial Conservation Center's research director, discusses the background as well as the process of creating and maintaining the New England Cottontail Habitat Restoration Project. The New England Cottontail is a rabbit that adapted and evolved to the New England. It's, it's its habitats, its ecological processes that are only found here. So that's why we call it the New England Cottontail Rabbit. And when, we, when there's an animal like that, it's indigenous to this area and only this area. So we have to protect it because it's part of our natural history. We're trying to protect it through conservation and habitat management. Now the New England Cottontail Rabbit is declining and it's been a disturbing decline because it's typically found in habitats that are quite easy to create. These are habitats that require a certain level of disturbance. Well, an ecological time scale, that would have been fires, floods, on a variety of other things that could have caused those kinds of disturbances. We've stopped those things from happening. And so now this habitat is actually maturing into mature forest, but as a result, we're losing the shrubby habitat species. So let's take a look at what this habitat looks like. If you think about it from a rabbit's perspective, and let's get down on our hands and knees here because that's where the rabbits are living. Think about it, that's where the rabbits want to hang out. They want to be underneath all of that for a variety of reasons. Because if they can get underneath that habitat and under that all that structure, whenever it snows, they'll be sheltered from the snow. They'll have all these little avenues that they can hide around in. This woody stuff also serves as food. This is what they eat in the winter. And there's little vegetation during the, 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 the summer season. Herbaceous stuff like wild strawberry and some grasses and some, uh, and some wild carrot that they can eat during the year. Shrubby habitat requires a certain number or frequency of disturbance so that it maintains it. And so that's what we're doing here on top of Apple Hill. This is a collaborative project. White Memorial is working with both the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service and the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection. Some folks wonder why we're using such mechanical uh, methods for removing these trees, and it's, there's many reasons. The main reason is because it's safe. As you can see, the person who's doing the work is inside a cab, and so he's protected from a lot of the operation in front of him. Another reason, though, is that we are also interested in doing this very safely, but also efficiently and effectively. It means time is equal to money when dealing with this kind of work. The viability of this habitat is totally dependent on the on the longevity of its, or the frequency of its disturbance. So we find that this habitat needs to be disturbed about every 15 years to maintain viable habitat for not only New England cottontails, but also blue winged warblers, brown thrashers, ruffed grouse, and a variety of other species that are gonna be benefited by this management strategy.